Hi, this is Tim at Time to Sew with a quick little video um, showing you how to mount unmounted stamps. Uh, this is a, bit, a new set of stamps that we've just done. Um, there are five scripture verses here um, and they're produced on one piece of rubber. So I'm just going to open the pack. So, front of the pack gives you the wordings, and you can see it the right way around. Obviously the rubber is back to front, so that it's the correct way around when you're printing it. Now, with a traditional wooden stamp, like this, you have the engraved rubber at the front, and then a foam behind which helps with the stamping. Now depending on how you're using your stamp, if you're wanting to use it with um, for example metal clay or something like this, then that padding is a nuisance. So we sell them like this, unmounted, so that you can choose to mount them if you wish. Now for normal card stamping it's much easier to use them if they're mounted. So what you require is a sheet like this which is that foam underlay. It's like double-sided tape, it's got a, a peel-off layer on both sides. Now this, when I peel it, barely feels sticky at all. In fact it doesn't feel sticky. The other side is extremely sticky. So what I'm going to do is peel back the protective backing on this very sticky side and just add as close to the edge so as not to waste any the stamps. Then as always I prefer working with a big pair of scissors. I'm just going to roughly cut that making sure the protective layer goes back on what's left but this is sufficient obviously to do an another sheet of this size in the same way I'm going to cut this top piece off waste it, store that on the backing sheet. So I now have my stamping rubber with a foam back and now it's a case of just having a quick look making sure of where the border of the stamp wants to be. Um, for production there is a, like a raised edge around the whole sheet you don't you want to make sure that you cut that away so I'm going to take the stamp at the top here and I'm just going to chunk around it So you need to go fairly close but leaving a little bit of a border. Um, you can always cut more off. The only time you would need to do that is if you find when you're stamping that that edge is picking up ink when you're inking the stamp. So this is exactly what someone has done in the factory when they're producing wooden stamps. So you can see on this wooden one it's all just been cut by hand in the same way. Okay, so there's another verse done. 
and then when you want to use the stamp it's merely a case of peeling away the other side and then you can use it with an acrylic block like so. Okay. And for storage, the various stamps can just be put on shiny card. We just keep these in a ring binder. Um, and away you go. If you find that the back of the stamp starts to lose its stickiness, it's normally caused by a build up of um, dust and so just uh, wash that with a little bit of um, fairy liquid and just leave them to dry in the air and they'll be, go back to being as sticky as normal. The beauty of this sort of construction and layout of stamp is that they take up so little room they're also cheaper because you're not buying the block each time. You're just using one acrylic block for all the stamps. And that's it. I'm just going to finish up by making a quick card using the stamp I've just made and you can see how it works. So, just going to do a really simple card. So I'm just going to use a slightly pearlized cardstock. Um, and this is the verse I've chosen. So I'm going to put that onto my block. I'm using this black memento ink. This is a, a dye ink, so you get a nice strong colour and it picks up a lot of detail. Position that outside. So I'm going to position that about so. There we go. Now I'm going to take that off my block and add the clear stamp. This is one of our just little flourishes. I'm going to use Memento again, but this time in dark blue. In fact, been Memento, it's got a flashy name. What is it? Paris Dusk. So I'm taking the ink to the stamp pack and look at it. So you make sure it's well covered. And then I'm going to line that up next to the verse. There we go. And just to finish it off, I'm going to use one of the other embellishments from that little set and use it inside the card just to carry the theme from the front through to the inside. There we go. 
thank you for watching um, I hope you have fun with the new stamps as always all of the items that I've used in this card are on our website at www.timetosew.com thank you for watching goodbye